So I did so my, I did project, my project, project on Jose, Jose Guadalupe, Guadalupe Pasado. Pasado. Uh, this, is this is me, Nate Swift. Nate Swift. And so, and so I'll, I'll, I'll get into a little, a little background. So, so some background. Some background. Uh, um, he, was he was born in, in 1852. 1852. Uh, he, he grew up with eight siblings. siblings. He was born in Mexico. Mexico. Uh, um, his, one of his, one of his older brothers, brothers actually taught him how to read, read write, write, and draw. And draw. Which allowed, which allowed him to attend the Municipal Drawing, Drawing Academy, Academy of Aguas Salientes, which is where he was born. As a, As a teenager, he began, he began an apprenticeship, where he learned, he learned about, about engraving, how to engrave, and lithography, which would he'd carry, carry on for the rest of his life. Um, after, um, after that, he began his career, his what he's most known for, as a political cartoonist, and he, and he actually owned, owned his own press. press. And taught, and taught at a local prep school, school which, I which I found pretty cool. And then, and then the photo, he's the one, he's the one sitting down, down to the right, to the right and I believe, believe that's one of his children. So, so Posada continued. So Posada, so simply put, put um, he, had he had satirical engravings, which, which would end up being the backing, the backing of Mexican revolutions, revolutions to come, to come spe specifically 1910, and so on. And so on. His art, His art is still used, used today, today, every November, for Dia de los Muertas. Every, every, you know, every, every time that swings by, you see, you probably have seen his, his, his engravings um, all, the all the time, and you may, you may not know. know. Um, the, passion, the passion his images stir, stir is exactly, exactly what it's all about. He brings, brings um, passion, passion brings, brings satirical comedy, comedy relief to usually, usually more serious events. events. Um, um, in Mexico, in Mexico, skeletons, skeletons have a huge place in Mexican, in Mexican art. From the, From the Aztecs, Aztecs to modern day, they play a huge role. So Posada, that's what he mostly did, did was he'd take, he'd take political, political or serious stories, stories and he'd recreate them, skeletons. skeletons. And so, it and so it brings the light to everyone who gazes upon. So, so the art the piece, piece, more specifically, that I'm going to talk about is the Don Quixote. It's one, it's one of Posada's most famous, famous pieces, and, and it depicts, depicts a skeleton uh, of, of Don Quixote, which, which was printed in, in a newspaper or uh, yeah, in, in 1891. Don Quixote is one, is one of the most important books in history, in history and, it and it is known, known as the first modern, modern novel. novel. Um, it's, a it's a story about how, how even, even when you're down, you can always back. come back up. In this, in this specific, specific um, engraving, Posada depicts, depicts the skeleton of Don Quixote on the back of his horse trampling, the 1%. One percent. So a little, so a little more, more about it. About it. Um, it, appears it appears in the original print with the title, with the title excuse, excuse my Spanish, Spanish but esta es de Don Quixote, la primera, la sin para la gante calavera. Which roughly, which roughly translates to this, to this is, is about, about Don Quixote the first, the matchless, the, matchless, the giant, the giant Calavera. Calavera. Uh, there wasn't, uh, there wasn't a ton, ton online about this, about this piece, but, um, but um, it's very, it's very popular. popular. You see it used all the time, all the time whether, it's whether it's recreations, recreations which, which I'll be talking about in the next, in the next few slides, or, or um, one of my favorites, it's on a few tequila bottles I always see at the store. It always makes me laugh because... So, so the recreation, recreation I'm going to talk about, about. it's, it's uh, um, called, called La Calavera 99%. It's, it's a recreation, recreation of Posado's Don Quixote, Quixote Trampling the 1%. This piece, this piece was actually created by Art Hazelwood, Marsha Shaw, and Jim Nikas. It was published in 2012. It is done, it is done in a very similar fashion, fashion to the iconic, iconic image, image, but replaces the 1% with banking, banking monopolies such as Chase, Wells Fargo, City, etc. Et what I what liked, I liked most, most about this piece and why I decided, I decided to do my report, report on it was because, because it's, it, really it really reiterates, reiterates the same meaning. You know, you know that's, that's the 99% trampling those who hold them down. down. And, and yeah. So a, so a little more, little more about, about La Calavera, Calavera 99%. percent. The, the, what, what, what caught my eye with it, the special spin, is, is they chose to replace, like I said, the 1% with banks, with banks who hold monopolies over our society. society. It's the kind, it's the kind of, of art piece that Posada would have made, made if, he if he was still around today. today. And I think he would have found, found it quite satirical because it is a satirical rendition. rendition. 